Hello everyone and welcome to Feel Cool Mathematics and before us we're having x plus y equals 20 xy equals 44 this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 but if I want from equation 1 I can have x the subject and then I'll have 20 minus y Let's call this our equation 3. Now, this is equation 3, and we're having this equation because we want to use it to get our x. And that can happen once we have the value of y. Okay, now put this back into equation 2. So if we do that, xy equals 4 to 4 becomes, um, our x is 20, so write 20 minus y. 20 minus y is x, and then we have y over there, which is now 44. Open the bracket, 20y minus y squared equals 44. Now I'm going to write this first, minus y squared plus 20y equals 44. And it's expected that the first um, term here must not should not have negative value or negative coefficient so multiply everything by negative here this will give us positive this will become negative 20y and this will become negative 44 bring everything to the same side so I'm going to move this to the left so that we now have y squared minus 20y plus 44 equals zero because there's nothing on the right and at this point do not disturb yourself thinking whether this can be factorized or not straight to the formula y is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a now our y will be b that will be minus minus 20 because b is negative 20 there right okay now plus or minus square root of b squared which will be negative 20 squared then minus 4 times 1 times 4 to 4 a is 1 c is 4 to 4 this is over 2 times 1 okay now y is minus minus times minus will give um, plus so this is 20 plus or minus minus 20 squared will give us positive value and that is 400 then minus 4 times 1 times 44 that will give 176 all of this is over 2 times 1 which is 2 now, our y from here is equal to 20 plus or minus. We we'll now have, um, we have um, 400 minus 176. Okay, 400 minus 176 is 224. And we divide by 2. Now, this 224 is not a perfect square. So, y will now be 20 plus or minus 224 is 16 times 14 and this is over 2 right now our y will now be 20 plus or minus square root of 16 here is 4 then we have root 14 as we divide by 2 okay um 2 can go into that so we have um 2 into 20 is 10 plus or minus 2 into 4 that is 2 then we have root 14 now I told you before once we have the value of y we can now go back to equation 3 and get our x but from here y is just 10 plus 2 root 14 or 10 minus 2 root 14 you know, I'm using this in two places. One is positive and the other negative. 
Okay, so let's go back to our equation 3. And that is um, x equals 20 minus y. So our x will now be 20 minus the first value of y is going to be 10 plus 2 root 14. Now our x will now be 20 minus 10 minus 2 root 14. This negative is expected to open the bracket. So if it does that, we we'll now have um, x to be equal to 10 minus 20, 20 minus 10 rather, that is 10, then minus 2 root 14. And then from here, we will say that when, when x is equal to 10 minus 2 root 14, our y is equal to 10 plus 2 root 14. Now, let's get the other value of y. Remember, x is still 20 minus y. And this time around, our y is, um, this is our y now. So, I'm going to write x to be equal to 20 minus, open bracket, y is 10 minus 2 root 14. I mean the y that we got from the equation. Now, x is equal to 20, y times 10 is negative, um, negative times 10 is negative 10. Negative, negative, we give positive, then we have 2 root 14. Now, our x from here is 20 minus 10 is, is 10, then plus 2 root 14. So, I'm still going to be tempted to write this as 12 root 14 because they will add this to but that is not possible so you leave it at this point therefore when when x equals 10 plus 2 root 14 comma y equals 10 minus 2 root 14 so by this we have solved the problem into detail but then if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so that um, you can get more of my videos and always share to your friends and the students around you. Thank you.